breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Why we are at Okoro Charles home, says EFCC. Why we are at Okoro Charles home, EFCC. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. Operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, on May 24, 2022, arrived at the Mataima Abuja home of a former governor of Imo State, Senator Rochas Okorocha, to effect his arrest. The commission said the move followed the refusal by the former governor to honor invitations after jumping the administrative bill earlier granted him by the commission. EFCC had on January 24, 2022, filed a 17 count criminal charge bordering on diversion of public funds and property to the tune of 2.9 billion Naira against Okorocha. The case was assigned to Honorable Justice Inyang Eko of the Federal High Court, Abuja, but attempt to arraign Senator Okorocha were twice told owing to the absence of the ex-governor who evaded service of processes. At the last adjourned date, March 28, 2022, Justice Echo, before adjourning until May 38, 2022, had warned that it was the last adjournment I shall grant in this matter. The Commission said that in the circumstances, it was left with no option other than to effect the arrest of Senator Okorocha and bring him to trial. Operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, on May 24, 2022, arrived at the Mataima, Abuja home of a former governor of Imo State, Senator Rochas Okorocha, to effect his arrest. The commission said the move followed the refusal by the former governor to honor invitations after jumping the administrative bill earlier granted him by the commission. EFCC had, on January 24, 2022, filed a 17-count criminal charge bordering on diversion of public funds and property to the tune of 2.9 billion Naira against Okorocha. The case was assigned to Honorable Justice Inyang Eko of the Federal High Court, Abuja, but attempt to arraign Senator Okorocha with twice told, owing to the absence of the ex-governor who evaded service of processes. At the last adjourned date, March 28, 2022, Justice Echo, before adjourning until May 30, 2022, had warned that it was the last adjournment I shall grant in this matter. The Commission said that in these circumstances, it was left with no option other than to effect the arrest of Senator Okorocha and bring him to trial. Operatives of the Economic 
and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC on May 24, 2022 arrived at the Maitama, Abuja home of a former governor of Imo State, Senator Rochas Okoro Chatul effect his arrest. The commission said the move followed the refusal by the former governor to honor invitations after jumping the administrative bill earlier granted him by the, by the commission. ERCC had on January 24, 2022, filed a 17-count criminal charge bordering on diversion of public funds and property to the tune of 2.9 billion naira against Okoroja. The case was assigned to Honorable Justice Inyang Eko of the Federal High Court Abuja, but attempts to arrange Senator Okoroja were twice stored owing